Welcome back to my channel. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining me today. It's Saturday morning. I'm drinking some coffee. I chugged some water first, though, because your girl needs water over coffee. That dehydration life from swimming, right? Anyway, so welcome. I have not done my nails yet because I need to clean the house today. And I wanted to film before I started cleaning because I need to really focus on that. At least part of it. So, um, I wanted to give some updates. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to get cat hair everywhere. Off everything. Um, so there's a couple of updates. Uh, if you've been following my Instagram, you know that I posted yesterday, like, an array. <laughs> like... Not in a ring. Just a bunch of different stuff, right? Um, I'm in that place in my planning that I'm bored and also lacking a little bit of my uh, excitement for creativity. And I also just like to try new things or just, I, I'm just one to switch things around. I've learned that. Even when I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I'll never change this setup. Oh, I'm telling you, I will change it every month. It seems to change. Um, I still like my A5. I'm still working in that. And I have some updates on that, but that's not for this video. This video is going to talk about my everyday, like, carry. Pretty much, I, I've mentioned before many times that I've tried to do, like, multiple planners and again, I tried <laughs> to have multiple planners at work and work at once. And it's just, I can't, I just, I don't know. I like to put my focus on one planner. By the way, just like ignore this. That's a bruise. Okay. I've got a couple of them. Um, so I was using, I'm using Pocket and I really actually love this. And I want to share that I got... In a new insert for my summer's touch that I really really like and by the way this was working beautifully it's not that it wasn't working at all it literally works really really well like I have no problem with this setup it I like it um I just wanted to move out into something different it's just how I am but I did get a because because I've been using this over a month I, I literally tend to switch every month just because I get bored but there's these inserts from my summer's touch they're weekly and I really like them you have a small weekly here with a um month here and it's all blank so you can fill it in how you want and then you have your days like this and I really like that and I'm going to play around with this um but this is not going to go with me per se um I have already trans my major information the only thing I haven't is my wallet so I'm still working on that but I'll share with you what I'm gonna do this is also gonna be a plan with me you guys once I tell you what I'm gonna do but like all my swimming stuff I've already pretty much subscribed over I need to move that over um but yeah I really want to try these I got these inserts for a5 as well and I'm truly excited about that as well um, I really do like this and you have lined at the top grid in the middle and dot grid and then a little more grid at the bottom. I really like the layout of these inserts. So that's exciting to try something new. I'm just going to play around with those, but that's not what this video is about. I just wanted to share my update on this was I'm still playing around with it, but I did a thing. It, like I said, if you follow my Instagram, you kind of know, have an idea of what I've done. Um, so I was craving my Hobonichi weeks again. I, uh, every year I get one or I'm blessed enough to have people that are kind enough to send me one they just didn't like, you know, they, there's different types of Hobonichi weeks and they get one they don't necessarily like or they end up not using and they send it to me and that makes me super super happy and I hope that continues because I really like having one every year um so this is my only Hobonichi 
this is my only cover from Julia for that and I love it so much I don't the, I want another one of these but in gold and then I'll be happy because the gold is my favorite I've learned by owning many Julio's that the gold is my favorite the gold and the yellow I believe yeah are my favorite leathers so I just um, I'm not too big of a fan of the croc leathers I'm not a huge fan of the ostrich um i do like how they feel but i just love the simplicity i think of these um a polka i guess that's what it is leathers anyway moving on this is the yell blue but what i've done i've in the past uh if you've been following me you know that i really had a good time in my b6 stology like i loved planning in that i actually for the first time in my entire life, filled out two complete books of my B6. I really, really enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun to play with, and I just had a good time. And um, I miss it. I miss that, too. I miss my Hobonichi Weeks and my Stology. So the only thing that I was struggling with, because when I went into here I even mentioned in some videos I was like you know I love I love this so much but I need a monthly and I don't like putting it in here like I want a, a separate monthly that's why I got the Hoban and G Weeks to work with my B6 Stology and then I guess I got in the rings kick again and switched out but um I've been missing it. Oh, I love this size too. It's a great size. But I didn't want to carry... My problem was... One of my issues was that I did not want to carry separate books. Um, because that's a lot. A B6 is fairly large. It's not huge, but it's... And especially with how I plan in astrology, it's like really... It gets thick, <laughs> as you see. So I did not want to carry two separate books, uh, um, Hobonichi Weeks and Estéology separate because I, one will get neglected. So what I did last night was I sat there and cut down my B6 down to fit into this. And to my surprise, this is a mega weeks, by the way. So it has all those extra pages in the back. Um, I think in the future, if I decide to stick with this kind of combination, I'll want the normal weeks without the pages in the back. Um, because I love nostalgia, I guess you could say, but I'll, I'm about to share this with you. So I cut it down to fit and poorly, I may add, like it's not the best cut, but I did it with an X-Acto knife. So what can you expect, right? But this is what it looks like. Um, I want to keep it fairly minimal. Um, I definitely cannot use like stickers and tip ins and stuff like that. I can't, I can't do that with this because it'll be too chunky. Um, going forward, I'll probably get the half side, half year. Um, this is the full year. Um, so if anyone says that you can't fit a mega weeks and a full year stology in here, they're lying. It's just, you can't, there's not going to be any room for anything else as you can see. So it like it closes, but I put my pen on the outside. I can't put my pen on the inside, but I don't mind that. Um, I love how this feels and looks and I'm just so excited. So we are actually going to be doing a plan with me, you guys. Um, I'll take you through how I have this set up and what my goals are for this planner. As y'all know, that changes over time. Um, I've got my routine cards here, my color code card, just to, you know, just for fun. I've got my post-its on a piece of cardstock, um, just to keep them together and it looks nice. I'm not going to lie. Um, these vinyls they came out of my personal size even this card i used in this b6 to decorate i just but i punched it into my personal size planner because i was planning on setting up a um personal rings again but i because i have so many and i just felt so guilty i felt like i needed to but i've come to a conclusion that it's time to get rid of those or i mean give them to families that truly will love them sell them trade them 
I want, I see myself more in bound books. I just, I'm not as happy in rings. Does that make sense? I've tried the whole ring thing again. I like the A6 rings, okay. I like the pocket rings, but everything else I'm kind of, I guess, moved in, moved on. Um, but I can't say that because I always flip-flop. Sorry, I digress. But I'm repurposing things I already have. I did not want to buy anything new for this um, because I don't really know if it's going to work, but I already feel good about it. So the, these vinyls are still from Kitty Zombie Co. I just trimmed off the hole punch from both of the card and this, and then I taped it down. Um, and because I've decided that I like the gray the minimal look of the gray pages in the front of the stology and I just like that look so and just put an ollie clip and then I've got a card and then this is a print that I have been using throughout the years so I stuck it there now when I already had started using this a little while ago um, as a notebook just like a random notebook so I had already had some pages done um, I had a key here but I trimmed it down so obviously I'm missing like this this much of a notebook which is fine and it I still think it looks good so I have a spot for an inbox um oh yeah I have my month card here and the task card here like a key because this is my was my key page and then just like a I mean that still turned out nice and then an inbox this was gonna be my index I believe but now it's my inbox and then these were pages I had already started like daily pages this was a while in March so but I kept those in as you can see I'm going for a very minimal black gray white neutral look the this is actually my swim schedule I was able I I worked I did some things yesterday um if originally I was going to stick it in my Hobonichi weeks I was going to use just my Hobonichi weeks but I just really I like the back pa I love Tom River paper as y'all know that that follow me and I love the back side as you can see I've used it for dailies before I really like them but for some reason I prefer to use these as note pages and just like a catch-all see this is how I was doing my swim lessons here just like this and this was nice but I really wanted a more structured layout and I wanted it to be neat because when it comes to scheduling you really don't have room to mess up so I used the yeah, I can show this page. It's my vacation. I used the Peanuts Planner Co. Um, personal size insert and just just the normal. I didn't like move the percentage or anything. I just cut a little bit longer of the page. Everything else was just perfect. Um, personal size works great in this. Uh, just need to make it a little longer, you know. Um, and I stapled it. I did it on Tome River paper so it's very thin that was one of my things I was missing about my bound books was the nice thin tactile paper I'm very tactile I love to touch my books I love to turn pages I love the smell of leather it's just I like using my senses so that's one of the number one reasons why I truly wanted to switch back into my Hobonichi weeks because my pocket planner just use I mean to me it's just boring it's just boring. It's not the insert's fault. It's not the planner's fault. It's just my senses weren't being um, used like they should, I guess you could say. Um, so these are the inserts I use, and I love them. I use a friction pen in these pages still because, you know, people cancel, people are added. Um, so I have the full summer in here, and what I've done is I've cut this was B6 size this this dashboard my friend gave me it was obviously in Halloween thing but I'm kind of I like that gothy look anyway so I love it so I just trimmed it down and put it on the last page I used double-sided tape to stick it to this page of the stology which had just a little bit of writing underneath you can kind of see it ghosting a little bit I don't know if you truly can and then I stuck this over it now I can remove you know move this bookmark around anywhere but I think I'm gonna 
I don't know if I'm just going to leave it here to kind of help support keep keeping it this uh my swim lessons in place or what I mean they are glued there so I mean they should stay in place but um, I haven't quite decided. I've also decided to use my black post-its that my friend gave me. I cut them down into small squares and I use them for tabs and use a white gel pen to write on them. I just like that look. So my idea, and I stuck like a card here, but my idea is to use this for my daily planning. Um, there's something about a stylology page that I love doing my dailies in versus this this was nice because again Tumor river paper i love it i love the small grid as you can see i was filling it i was loving it all that but i really wanted to use this for like my daily pages and all that stuff just like all the things and then use the back pages here for just like pen tests notes things that just all the other things <laughs> does that make any sense i'm hoping to fill up both of these books um so this is today i've got a lot of cleaning i need to do and i left this side for sunday and today but i went ahead and filled out my tracking for next week here so i'm taking away from the health log that my summer's touch created these are things i always tracked before but layout wise i'm taking from her so um all these things up here i've always tracked um i've proof that they're in my b6 and everything i've always tracked these items um i've just decided instead of using her health journal um i do want to give her credit though because um I love her health journal. I just don't have the room to tip it in. I would if I could, but I don't have the room. It'll get too bulky to tip it in here. So I just drew it out. So I've got my sleep for the week and then mood, energy, stress, and productivity. And then my happy tracking there. So in the past, in my Hobonichi weeks here, I would, here, let me go to folder page, folder page here we go I would track it here in the Hobonichi weeks but what I've decided to do this time to switch it around um, just to make it work a little better um, I've tried a couple of different layouts I really like this layout um, as you can see I have a happy tracker down there so that may be something that I stick with we'll see um, this was kind of like a this is this week it was kind of like a cluster F of stuff I really like using this page for the weeks tasks like things i want to accomplish it's a running to-do list for the week i really like having that i like having a social media spot and a money spot and then all the other things and um then the list so that's what we're going to set up today for next week we're going to set this paint this up for that um and then the tracking is just going to be here. So as far as like notes and things like that, my daily spiritual stuff will probably will more than likely go in here. Um, I really want all my like to like all this. Stuff. I want to have this just like I normally do my astrologies. I like the freedom. I still feel like I have more room to write on in this, even though I've cut it down than I do here. Um, I think these pages are slightly smaller. The grid are not even fully like a full page. I don't, it, there's still that. I, I can't explain it. I feel like I have more room here, but I would like to use, um, I would like to use, let me show you what I'm doing. Hold on. I got to cover this up real quick. Um, I know this is probably confusing to you guys and a bit of a shock, but I I just couldn't do rings anymore. The rings are heavy. They get in the way. I think I've just, no matter how many times I try, I've outgrown them. I really think that's what's happening is I'm just outgrown. I'm evolving as a person and my planning style reflects that. And I'm just, I'm just outgrowing stuff like that. I prefer more 
I just I love books in general so um, I'm just covering up some important information okay so here's the deal um, let me take you through a flip of this first and I'll explain some more so as I mentioned you saw the astrology there's nothing in the I did put a couple of vinyls down um, there's no vinyls on the front of this book at all um, on the back, I put, be, these are all from Kitty Zombie Co. I love her vinyl so much. Be gentle with yourself. You're doing the best you can. That's super important to me. I need to be reminded of that every single day. And then, I don't know if you can see this, but I put a black one on the back. I like the black on black on black. Um, it says, if you are always trying to be normal, you will never know how amazing you are. So, I'm trying to put a lot of inspirational things. But this is the cover I decided to fix up for my Hobonichi Weeks. I have, of course, that leopard print there um, to be a pop of color. I really wish it was the black one. I should have put the black one on there because I do have one um, that I put in my personal rings. But it's okay. It, it pops out. I put a piece of black cardstock type paper. It's like a marbled black and then a cloth and paper I trimmed it down I really love the cloth and paper um, cards I think they're really I love office supplies and I love this like minimal um, just I just like it I like the layout and of course my name has been there forever it's actually just coloring it was stark white and now it's like <laughs> kind of dirty but that's fine um, so I think it just looks all nice together I was considering buying a black um, cover, but I, to, if I'm honest with myself, it's not my favorite. I used to love black everything, but browns and neutrals are more my vibe, I think, nowadays, but, um, I, I just, I need to be, I have a cover I shouldn't switch it out, and it does have the gold in the inside, which I love. So, um, inside I've got some cards. This I'm using is a no spin I was using this for my weather tracking but I don't I'm not gonna do that now I'm just gonna use the no spin I'm proud of myself I haven't spent anything the the um, dots that you see did I accidentally put a dot over a dot why did I do that that's so weird oh yeah here um, the dots indicate that I did not spend anything. The open ones mean I did. I don't even think I spent anything on Saturday, Sunday, to be honest with you. But I bought my husband a present for Father's Day, and then I bought the TikTok leggings. But I bought them off Amazon. They do have them on Amazon, guys. Don't get fooled by those types of things. Um, they're cheaper there, too my my daughter's pictures I moved to here because they just mean something and if you look at my washi tape these are all Studio Ghibli um kind of scenes so I thought it went perfect I just I love this washi this is the only washi tape I have the only amount that I have so I had to put it in the notebook I knew that if I put it in a bound book that I will keep it if it's just like a regular dashboard or whatnot in a purse like in a rings i for some reason i throw all that away all the in all the contents of ring planners i tend to just throw away um but if it's in a bound book i keep it so another reason why i need to move to just bound books um another color code just um post it all this has stayed the same from the past um my words of the year you are enough all by kitty zombie co like i'm obsessed and I need to feel fill this stuff out. Um, when I say I'm going to do a plan with me, I guess I'm going to do that live with you guys. Um, I'm just doing like a update of my planner and what's going on. Um, I need to fill in my swim lessons here. I haven't even done that because because I haven't. I've took like two months off from this because we're here now. So I need to fill it back plan a little bit and then fill in all that kind of stuff so that'll be done I need to make notes of this actually while we're here you get to see how I'm planning my <laughs> plans <laughs> planning my plans for plans <laughs> planning plans for planners my planning plans plans <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying 
Okay, so let's get my pad. All right, I need to fill out hobo yearly tracker. I need to update. Okay, by the way, this pen works well in the Hobo and Angie weeks as well. Just gotta let, I think, dry a little bit, not too much. Um, I of course we'll carry my fountain pens as well now because i love using fountain pen in both of these books so i'm actually happy i'm back in my time i love my fountain pen so much um okay so actually i need to track my swim my uh, vacation dates all that stuff i do staycations i don't actually have a vacation my daughter is so. um let me show you this month so these are my past months. They're obviously you can see they're really well used. And then I dropped off on this month and this month. This is this month. Um, yes, I think I don't know why I decided to do my period tracking here. I think I did it. Yeah, I do it here. So I've got to I'll probably take those stickers off. There's no point. I, I didn't fill anything in. So as this starts, I will need to update monthly. Instead of using washi tape, I use little post-it notes that I had, and when I plan, I'll explain all this. So I decided to actually track my weather down at the bottom of my month. I like the look of this. It's really cute. I like the cartoony effect, I guess, of the cute post-its that I have here. Um, in the past, I used just, you know, pen and ink, really, some washi but I like this look a little better. It's a little more open. Um, I'm not doing the cleaning on the side. See, I did like a cleaning. I'm not gonna do that on here. I'm gonna put it in the back because I have so many open pages that I can do. So I'm gonna put my cleaning stuff in the back. So I actually put cleaning chart, hobo weeks note pages okay um yeah so update my monthly um i do have dot stickers i'd like to use i've got i love the big ones for whatever reason i like the look of the big ones see here the smaller ones i can fit more with the smaller ones but i really like the big ones and right now i don't have too much going on so the big ones would be good and then um Okay, so there's that. And I also have, when I received this Hobo Weeks, it was already a little further in. So I actually have, I made lists and note pages in the front. Like shop codes. I need to add another shop code for Blue Bath Company. Uh, project ideas. So I have all these note pages I can use as well. These are more like um, reference lists that I use more often so and then this is what I started planning right here I really love using the Hope in two weeks I'm so organized when I use it I don't know why I tend to I love this page it's so messy I love it <laughs> but then I love a clean page so I'm glad that I, I'm back in it because I really did love using it and when I didn't use it for planning I used it for like spiritual stuff so I just wrote some stuff and then you can see I dropped off. But what's great about having open pages is I can practice layouts in these pages and I can also back plan. I do like to back plan so um, I can do that. I, get these are, I can use these as test pages or whatever. So um, yeah, I love that one. So here's this week. So I also need to plan next week. And I also want to have um, in my notes section back here, like I said, this is going to be more like my daily stuff, daily notes, daily pages, that kind of thing. This is going to be like all the other stuff, notes, lists, all the fun stuff. Like this is yummy f new foods to cook. I want to try cabbage pizza, blueberry pancakes. I know that sounds kind of ordinary, but there's a different way to do it. Um... I just, I want to have like all kinds of fun 
stuff back here. I have a pen test back here. I want to, um, actually want to put, I got the Colors of the World uh, Crayola markers. I want to do a test page of that back here. There's just a lot I want to do. Um, so we're going to do pen tests. Weeks. No pages. Yeah. So that is my update. I do have... I found these guys finally. I was looking for these for like months, these black um, dots. I was looking for these everywhere. They were actually in my black ring planner. I was going to set up, decided not to, obviously. Um, so I found them so I actually can use them now. I'm glad. Um, and I've got, of course, my boyfriend back here. And then, as, as y'all know, I always have my charms. So that's my update for my planning for this month um the whole double planner thing just wasn't worried that a5 i like i love my a5 but it is so big to carry around with me and i knew better i don't know what i was thinking i don't know why i thought that was like a good idea but it really wasn't and um it's really heavy on my back after swimming all day it's just too much it's it's literally just too much and um yeah i'm gonna stick this with some washi tape <laughs> there you go so let's i'm going to go live here shortly and i hope you guys join me for some fun planning time i know this is kind of a last minute i don't even think I. Have, oh yeah in the back i have some uh um, client information, numbers, things like that, callback, they're my callback lists. So that's super important. I can't share that with you. I really, truly, oh, let me add that to my list of stuff to do on camera. I need to, whoops, hold up. I need to, um, put some new pages back there and I want them to be longer versus fatter. So, um, callback pages and then where they're located back pocket and i need to set up my wallet i i was gonna use this as my wallet too but then i decided to do this whole thing so right now my wallet's literally in my pin bag like this which is fine it works for me <laughs> but i really need to set it up um back in its um envelope style i have a long michael course i like to use and it has different sections and that truly helps a lot more than uh putting it in my planner so that's going to be another video another time so anyway i hope you enjoyed this video and i've got to put it in just the right spot um i hope you enjoyed this video and will join me for my life and have fun with us and until next time you guys love you bye